J1407b, located about 434 light years away, is a truly peculiar planet, resembling a supersized Saturn. Astronomers have estimated its mass to be between 10 to 40 times that of Jupiter, making it significantly larger than any planet in our solar system. Its most astonishing feature is a colossal ring system, comprising 30 rings, each spanning tens of millions of kilometers. The entire system stretches about 120 million kilometers across, dwarfing Saturn's rings by 200 times. Imagine Saturn with rings this vast dominating our night sky. However, such a spectacle would be short-lived, as the rings would gradually diminish, giving way to forming satellites. And J1407b is just a glimpse of the universe's oddities. From planets hotter than the sun to those larger than their stars, and even a so-called marshmallow planet, the cosmos is brimming with bizarre worlds. Stay tuned for a list of some of the most astonishing planets out there. Far away in space, there's a unique exoplanet named GJ504b, situated 57 light-years from Earth. Unlike our familiar blue and green Earth, GJ504b is pink, which is quite an odd color for a planet. This distant world is about four times more massive than Jupiter, but its size is quite similar. The reason for its unusual color lies in its youth. GJ504b is around 160 million years old, considered a cosmic newborn compared to our solar system. As the exoplanet is still evolving and releasing the heat from its formation, it emits a subtle magenta glow. In the vast universe, there are also water-rich planets, and one of them is known as the Water World, or a Neptune-like exoplanet. Located more than eight times the mass of Earth, with a radius about 0.24 times that of Jupiter, this distant planet is abundant in water. However, it is not an Earth twin. Unlike our planet with solid ground, this alien world lacks a solid surface. The extreme pressure and heat have transformed its atmosphere into a peculiar plasma form of water. Despite scorching temperatures of 280 degrees Celsius, the water on GJ1214b doesn't exist in the familiar vapor, liquid, or gas phases. Instead, it remains in a constant supercritical fluid form, displaying properties of both liquid and gas simultaneously. Venturing to the Cygnus constellation, approximately 650 light years away, we encounter a scalding exoplanet called Kepler 70 AB. This fiery world, with a mass only 0.44 times that of Earth and a radius 0.75 times our planets, is one of the hottest exoplanets known to astronomers. Its star, Kepler 70, once resembled our Sun during its main sequence stage, while Kepler 70b used to be a gas giant like Jupiter. About 18.5 million years ago, the star entered its red giant phase, and as a consequence, only a hot iron core remains of the once giant exoplanet. Scientists believe Kepler 70b is still evaporating, which may cause it to shrink further. The close proximity to its star, 65 times closer than Mercury to the Sun, results in an astonishing temperature of 6,150 degrees Celsius, surpassing even the surface temperature of our Sun. Imagine a place really far away, about 640 light years from Earth. There's this super hot planet called WASP 76b that's as big as Jupiter. But here's what's weird. This planet doesn't spin, so one side always faces its star, while the other side is always dark. On the side facing the star, it's so hot that iron melts and becomes vapor in the air. It's like having really, really hot rain, but with melted iron instead of water. The day side is scorching hot, reaching temperatures higher than anything we feel on Earth, while the dark side is much colder. Because of these huge temperature differences, strong winds blow from the hot side to the cold side, carrying the iron vapor. When this vapor cools down on the cold side, it rains molten iron. That's something you don't see every day. Then there's this other planet called PSR J1719 1438b, which is crazy huge compared to its star. Imagine a planet that's way, way bigger than the star it orbits around. But here's the twist. This planet wasn't always a planet. It used to be a star. It's like it had a totally different job before. It orbits a tiny but super dense star called a neutron star. This star is so small that even a tiny bit of its stuff would be super heavy here on Earth. The star also spins really fast, like thousands and thousands of times in just a minute. This star is not alone. It has a planet buddy, PSR J1719 for 1438b, which is smaller but way heavier than Jupiter. How can that be? 
Well, this planet used to be a star too, but its outer layers got taken away by the really massive neutron star it orbits. So now, it's kind of like a big diamond planet, about five times the size of Earth, with a width of around 60,000 kilometers. The universe is filled with some truly strange planets that seem almost unbelievable. Take WASP-107b, for example. This odd planet is as big as Jupiter, but weighs only 30 times more than Earth. Jupiter, on the other hand, is a whopping 300 times heavier than our home. What's really mind-boggling is that the core of WASP-107b is just four times larger than Earth's, when it should be around 10 times that size. Because of this, the planet is super light and fluffy, almost like a marshmallow floating in space. It's fascinating to scientists because it challenges what we thought we knew about how big gas giants form. Now, most of these planets we're discovering aren't exactly ideal spots for us to move to. But Gliese 581d is turning heads. Finding a planet that might be suitable for life is tough. They're usually very far away, making them difficult to reach. Gliese 581d, though, is within 20 light years from us, and it's about six times the mass of Earth. That puts it in a zone around its star where it might have the right temperatures for liquid water. However, one side of Gliese 581d always faces the star, and the other side remains cooler. But here's the twist. The planet has lots of carbon dioxide in its atmosphere, which might prevent the night side from getting too cold. On Earth, we're used to the regular cycle of day and night, and most living things here have adapted to that. But it's uncertain if life could adapt to the conditions on Gliese 581d if we ever try to live there. If we do decide to settle there someday, the best place might be along the twilight zone, the line between the warm and cold sides where conditions could be just right for life. Space is vast, and in this big space there's a special place called 2 Mass J2126. This place is not as lonely as we thought. At first, scientists believed it was a lonesome planet wandering in space. But turns out, it's not alone. It's moving alongside a star named TYC 94869271. What's really surprising is that astronomers knew about both objects separately for a long time without realizing they were linked. Later on, they discovered that both the exoplanet and the star are about 104 light years away from our Sun, showing they're connected. More observations revealed that this planet orbits its star at a distance of 1 trillion kilometers, about 7,000 times farther than Earth is from the Sun. That's the largest orbit we've found for any known planet, and a year on this exoplanet is equal to around 900,000 Earth years. Now, let's zoom back into our own solar system for a bit. Jupiter, the biggest planet here, boasts 79 moons. So, it seems reasonable that exoplanets might have exomoons too. But scientists struggled for a long time to find any. Finally, they've hit a milestone. While they didn't spot an exomoon, they found something even more exciting. The first clear evidence of a moon-forming disk around a massive exoplanet named PDS-70C. Using the ALMA telescope in Chile, scientists detected a disk where moons could eventually form. There's enough material there to create three moons, each roughly the size of Earth's moon. This marks the first time humans might witness the formation of these small worlds in space, not through a computer simulation, but in real life. Moving on to Koi 5 ab this exoplanet isn't unique because of its properties, but because of its cosmic neighborhood. This planet, about half the size of Saturn, was initially overlooked and considered almost like a story from science fiction. However, a decade later, the Koi 5 system finally got the attention it deserved. Astronomers uncovered that this was a triple star system. The planet orbits star A, which has a close companion, star B. They both circle around each other every 30 years. But there's a third star, star C, gravitationally linked to stars A and B, completing an orbit every 400 years. Imagine if we could travel there and hover on the edge of the planet's atmosphere. What a view it would be. Looking down, you might see dark brown and gray clouds. Instead of one sun, there would be two, one much larger than our star and the other smaller, yet brighter than our full moon here on Earth. Even among the weird planets we've found, there might be even stranger ones out there. Scientists have an idea about these things called planets. They're just theories for now, but some scientists think they might be real. These unusual worlds could form when gas and dust crash together near black holes. Imagine planets born in such wild events. These planets would probably orbit super far away from huge black holes, taking millions of years to complete a single orbit. It's like a whole new level of weirdness in space. The universe is like a big playground of creativity. Every now and then, 
Astronomers uncover these mind-blowing things that just blow our minds. It took us forever to find all the planets in our own solar system, and they're still surprising us. And think about it, we've only scratched the surface of the 5,000 exoplanets we know about. There could be tons more out there waiting to shock us. If you're into exploring the mysteries of the universe, hit that subscribe button for more mind-blowing space stuff.